Greetings ladies and gentlemen, Engineer Liu here. We will be starting a series of videos where I'll be solving fluid mechanics exercises. Well, I picked a book uh, which is very commonly used, which is uh, Fluid Mechanics by Frank White. It's a good book, uh, used in a lot of universities. And of course, we will be starting at the beginning. So here we have chapter one, uh, fundamental properties of fluids. Let's go here. Okay, so this is the book. I'll be using the eighth uh, edition by Frank White. The chapter that we'll be focusing on is introduction. So let's go to problems. The first problems that we're going to solve, they focus on the concept of a fluid. So let's start by problem number one. A gas at 20 Celsius may be considered rarefied, deviating from the continuum concept when it contains less than 10 to the power of 12 molecules per cubic millimeter. If Avogadro's number is 6.023 to the power of 23 molecules per mole, but absolute pressure in Pascal for air does this represent? Okay, so this is a very straightforward problem. We shall have no bigger issues here. So this is the ideal gas law where we have PV equals nRT, where P stands for pressure, V stands for volume, and stands for uh, the number, uh, the quantity of substance. R is the universal constant for ideal gases. And T stands for temperature. Remember here we have to transform temperature from Celsius to Kelvin, okay? So what the problem gives us is the number of molecules per cubic millimeter, okay? So what we are going to do is obtain this quantity here. So we're going to change this equation a little bit, this ideal gas law. We're gonna divide this equation by the volume here. So we already isolated the pressure on this equation. So all we have to do now is obtain this number here and the volume. The volume that uh, is given to us in the problem is a uh, cubic millimeter. Okay, so this equation here must be dimensionally consistent, so we have to transform millimeter to meter. Okay, so this term is going to be equal to the number of molecules, which is 10 to the power of 12. divided by Avogadro's number, divided, oops, divided by 10 to the power of minus 3, which is a millimeter, to the power of 3, because we have a cubic millimeter. So this shall gives us this quantity here, this m divided by v, which is the volume. And let's compute this, see what it outputs. So this computation gives us this result here. And now we have to transform the temperature to from Celsius to Kevin, which is pretty straightforward. 
our temperature here is going to be equal to 20 plus 273 which gives us 293 Kelvin okay so of course this result is uh, we are missing the unit here which will be per meter cubic right so we have all uh, that we need to compute the pressure as required by the problem so let's put these numbers here and see what this equation outputs this will be multiplying uh, the universal gas constant and multiplying the temperature of course here we have mole per meter cubic here mole per meter cubic so let's see if it, if this equation outputs the pressure as required so here let's just copy this line over here so mole with mole cancels out Kelvin with Kelvin cancels out and here we have joules and we are left with um, meter cubic and joules joules is um, Newton times meter right so here meter cancels with meter and we are left with Newton per meter squared which is equal to Pascal so this will be equal to let's just leave the numbers here so Newton per meter square is equal to Pascal so the units are consistent so let's just do, do this competition here and see what it outputs so we just have solved our first problem of fluid mechanics thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments your doubts on fluid mechanics and any suggestions you might have thanks and bye